Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I made a quick trip back to the Lucky 38, but we're going to head out again straight away because I'm finally going to go to Hoover Dam. And there we are going to talk to um, Colonel Moore for further assignments. So let's see what else I have to do for the NCR. But yeah, um, I guess I'm just going to keep my team as it is. And we are going to head out, although, now that I think about it, um, there actually is something else that I want to do while I'm here at the strip. I picked up another vault uh, jumpsuit, so I can uh, go back to Sarah and uh, give it to her. I've also been trying to think about what other stuff I could do in this game before you know, continuing with the uh, end game. I mean, for once I could gamble more and earn more money, but um, I don't really think I need any more money at the moment. I could try to find more bottle caps. Um, so that would take me a while to go back to various places and look for more bottle caps. And I could just, you know, revisit a bunch of old places and uh, lockpick some doors that I couldn't lockpick um, when I was there the first time. But then again, I always end up being disappointed when I open a door, so I'm probably not going to do that. All right, I have a well, new well. Jumpsuit if it for isn't you. the Vault Explorer herself, welcome back. Um, yes, I have Vault gear. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. All right. That's going to net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you want to trade all your vault suits right now? I think I only have one, but yeah, uh, please take it off of me. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. <laughs> You're welcome. I wish there was a way to find out what vault jumpsuits I already gave her. Other than going through all my videos again and uh, have a look at my uh, recording. <laughs> because um, there might be some jumpsuits missing. But okay, um, I guess uh, that is a problem for another day or maybe never. We will, we will see. And yeah, now let's see. Um, let's remove that marker over here. Um, I guess what would be the best way to to actually get there? Maybe actually the Ranger Station Delta or Boulder City. It's it's very hard to tell. Boulder Beach Campground. Um, let's go to Boulder City and let's see if this is going to be the fastest way towards the dam. Um, well, there's, there's a lot of rocks in my way that uh, I don't think I can actually pass. So I have to find a way to get around the rocks. I don't know, let's, let's go down here and let's see if this is a good way. Um, honestly, I don't think this is like a good way at all. Uh, maybe. Maybe I will try to approach from the ranger station after all. Okay, um... Let's see. Well, we have a, a road over here. I mean, at some point there had to be a road leading up to Hoover Dam, right? So maybe following the road is not such a bad idea. Well, look at that, Hoover Dam. There's actually a sign telling me where exactly I have to go. And there it is. It is, it is quite impressive, is it not? 
Hmm. I kinda, I kinda uh, wanna see this during the day though. Let's wait a few hours until it's morning. I think this might make a more impressive sight during the day. Oh my goodness. What's Look going at on? These little angels. Becky, that dress looks so lovely. And Jimmy, oh my word, how you've grown. I'm four whole feet, Grandma. What? Did you bring us present, that? Grandma? Well, now, I don't know. Have you been good to your mommy and daddy? Yes. Hm. Well, then, let Grandma see what you have got. Is that, is that you, the grandma they've been talking about? Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's talk to her again. Hello again, dear. What was that recording you were listening to? Yeah, right. That was random. Oh, that old thing. That's just a hollow tape from the last time I visited my grandkids. Such sweet little children. You know, little okay. angels. Sometimes it's hard to remember them. So I take that old tape out from time to time and listen. Okay, and why exactly is it hard to remember them? It's my medicine, dearie. It keeps me calm, but it makes my memory go all fuzzy. That's why hmm. I only take my dosage every other time. That way, at least I remember their faces. I see. Well, I, I didn't realize that. Uh, Lily, I'd like to talk to you about your medication. Uh, sure, let's talk about it. Oh, don't you worry your silly little head about that pumpkin. Grandma knows what <laughs> she's doing. Okay. You should keep taking your meds every other time. It's worth the risk to remember your family. It's too dangerous for you to miss doses. From now on, I want you to take your medicine every time. That medicine isn't doing you any good. I want you to stop taking it altogether. Huh. Interesting? Hmm. Of course, I, I don't really know enough about what exactly that medicine is and what her condition is and what uh, the results of taking the medicine are exactly. So... I feel I shouldn't be in the position to get, uh, give her medical advice here. <laughs> um, but as far as I understand, if she takes the medicine, she's going to um, forget her family. And if she's only taking it like every other time, she can remember um, the family. So what exactly would be um, the consequences of uh, not taking the medicine at all. I mean, presumably that's not going to be good either, right? So I don't know, maybe um, that's a good compromise. Like I said, I feel I don't know enough about, you know, the exact um, purpose of the medicine and the exact causes and um, consequences of taking or skipping the medicine to properly give her advice. So maybe um, the compromise that she's going with here is actually not too bad. I don't know. You should keep taking your meds every other, t every other time. It's worth the risk to remember your family. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's just pick this option. That's sweet of you, dearie. I'll try to be better about controlling myself if I see you try to sneak away. Well, so far you haven't really uh, caused me any problems in that regard. So sure, um, let's let's do it like that. All right, pumpkin. <laughs> Lily will continue to take her medicine half as often as she's supposed to. She will still suffer psychotic breaks if her health reaches one quarter, but she will break off combat if you begin sneaking. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, when uh, does her health actually drops that low? That doesn't really happen all that often, does it? <laughs> she has a lot of health. So, um, I think I think you're going to be fine. Especially since I'm not going to take you into that many battles. Uh, I still have other companions that I need to take with me 
eventually. So I think it's good. Um, just uh, continue taking your medicine like this. I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. Okay, well, um, that was interesting. <laughs> I guess that was like her quest. That was a short one, but okay. Um, I'm happy that I could help you. Talk to you soon, dear. It also was like entirely random. Why did you suddenly bring this up now? But um, I'm not complaining because uh, that's one more personal quest that um, is finished. Now let's continue towards the dam. And I can already see a bunch of NPCs on my compass. Ooh. This road is um, in bad condition. All right. Let's see. Hey. Door to Hoover Dam Visitor Center. Okay, well, before I go inside, I may want to uh, explore the outside a little bit. Um, well, I wish I could read that, but I can't. Interesting statues, though. Kind of art deco. <laughs> um, all right, let's see... What else we can do here? This is this is really huge. And the game does do a decent a job at portraying um, the scale of this place. I mean look at that. <laughs> Who are you? Things are getting stranger every day. An engineer. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood. I agree. Okay, now we're going to go over the actual dam, right? Hmm. Remember Bitter Springs. Legion, go home. <laughs> Interesting slogans on the wall and okay this is the side of the dam where the water gets stored so to speak. first recons at camp forlorn hope now we've got a chance to hold it nice door to hoover dam intake tower number two um, well, I'm not sure if I need to go inside that place. Well, like I said, first I'm going to explore the outside and then we will try to go hey. into the dam. Door to Hoover Dam Intake Tower 1. Okay. Another engineer. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. There's actually quite a few engineers. Things are getting stranger every day. I mean, someone has to maintain this thing, right? Which actually makes me wonder what the Legion would have done if they had taken the dam. Um, I doubt they have, like, capable engineers to actually properly run and maintain Hello? this place. I don't know, maybe they were planning on capturing NCR engineers and then enslave them to do the work for them. Door to Hoover Dam Tower. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty interesting. You may want to check that out first. And this door is inaccessible, which means I can't get to the other side. Which is where the Legion camp is and the Legates camp that I've seen on the map, right? Okay, well, um, let's check out the tower. Nelson's back in our hand. 
Okay. So what's going on inside here? Well, we have a number of uh, toilet seats. Climb ladder to Mojave Wasteland. Okay, I can apparently go all the way to the top of the tower. Ooh. Impressive. Very impressive. I mean, look at this place. I would say that this was pretty impressive, you know, even back when it was still active. It's probably even more impressive these days when there's so little of, you know, the old world left. So I can understand why all these different factions are fighting over this place. Uh, not to mention its usefulness in terms of you know, producing energy. Okay, well, um... That was interesting. Elevator to Hoover Dam offices. Okay, well, that's actually a place where I may want to go. Let's see. I mean, where do I have to go for my quest? Well, it does look like it is inside this building. All right. Um, okay. This should be the way to my quest rec room. I guess I will check out the other rooms as well. I am tempted to look at the terminal just out of curiosity. Okay, I guess this is the rec room, huh? Recreation. Pretty empty though. And this is like the first time I've seen a chess board that actually has pieces on it. Although they're quite obviously not playing chess on that chess board. Though everyone is a buzz about Oliver arriving soon. That hmm. must mean the battle's close. Oh it seems that the territories are Oliver's about to arriving? Up. Interesting. I hear a troublesome lesion camp got raised to the ground. Tch. Power plant floor one. Rec room. Oh, is this is this my quest over here? Yes, it is. So I suppose that's a Colonel Moore. I'm going to talk to you in a second. Yeah, I mean, all the stuff in here is off limits. Can't take it anyway. So, um, let's talk. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a <laughs> while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else <laughs> wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Well, I would say I am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? I have heard about them a little bit, yes. The Khans won't be a problem to anyone ever again. You could say we've had dealings. I have a score to settle with them. I might have heard of them remind me. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know. Supposedly, they're going to leave the Mojave. Of course, whenever I actually go there, they're still there. But I guess, in the end, they are going to leave eventually. So, I don't know. They're not going to be a problem to us, at least. Let's uh, put it like that. Good riddance. You've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, hmm. one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. 
I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop <laughs> it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? I'm like three steps ahead of you already. Yes, the Omertas were up to something big, but I stopped them. It's already her taken care of. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. You would but think we have so. other problems. While investigating the Omertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make mm. some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. Mm -hmm. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Any questions? I see. So now I'm going to get to a point where I do have to make a decision. What could Mr. House possibly be up to? <laughs> well, I've been wondering that myself. Obviously, I have some idea because um, he has been giving me tasks as well. But... Um, I don't really know like the exact details. What evidence do you have that Mr. House will make a move? Won't getting rid of Mr. House have huge repercussions for New Vegas? Well, that would be an interesting question. What's your opinion on this? Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. Well, honestly, I can't argue with that. Um, <laughs> I would agree that the dam is probably more important. So what do you think Mr. House is up to? To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. Mm. Any other questions? I mean, from what I can gather, uh, Mr. House doesn't want to wipe out the NCR because he still kind of needs them for his plan. But I mean, it is a danger that, you know, she probably can't uh, disregard, right? So what exactly is uh, your evidence here? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. Well, <laughs> he wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate. Which is why I'm sending you. Any other questions? Yeah, I may have something to do with that increase in Securitrons. <laughs> because I have been double dating a little bit, or, well, triple dating if you count the Yasmin as well. But I suppose that's going to come to an end, one way or the other soon, because um, as far as I can tell, um, I, I really have to make a decision um, after, after this quest. Good, then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. All right, all right. So, remove Mr. House as a threat to the NCR. There we go. Um, let's have a look at the quest. Yep. Which means, at this point, I have to make a decision. Well, at least a decision between the NCR and Mr. House. I mean, presumably the Yes Man quest will be untouched by that. And I can still go with the Yes Man later if I choose so. I mean, the Yes Man wants me to you know, get rid of Mr. House too, so that would basically be uh, two birds with one stone. Um, yeah, but I have to make a decision between the NCR or uh, Mr. House, because if I continue to help Mr. House, then I'm going to piss off the NCR to a point where um, they are not going to uh, work with me anymore. So. That's the decision that I have to make. However, I'm not going to make it now. Um, like I said, I will do the um, DLC first. And once I'm done with the DLC, we will start the end game and um, make our decision. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm uh, planning. But can we talk about Report. other stuff? Maybe? Is Mr. House still a threat? Um, well, maybe you can uh, uh, answer some questions first. If you must, but please keep it brief. Uh, tell me about the NCR. Sure, why not? I don't have time to discuss all the different aspects of the NCR with you, but if you want it all in a nutshell, the NCR is progress. If you wander around the wasteland, you'll find all sorts of tribes, villages and such where people spend most of their time trying to survive. The NCR gives its citizens a shot at something more. We have laws, currency, health care, government, all the things that were lost. It's not perfect, but it's worth protecting, which is why we also have the largest military in existence. All right, well, you make a good sales pitch. 
How did you get to be a colonel in the in the NCR? <laughs> yeah, sure. Tell me more about yourself. I joined up at a young age. I was barely 16 when I left home and volunteered to be in the military. Got a few strange looks at first, but those stopped when I got top marks across the board during training and became an officer at 17. A few years went by. My squad helped take down gangs of raiders here and there. And one day, an invitation to join the Rangers arrived. Those were the best years of my life. Doing something that truly matters, and having the freedom to handle it as you see fit. Then I got injured. Everyone was very supportive. I received a promotion to Colonel and given greater responsibility. But my days as a Ranger were over. Well, I guess that's a quite the impressive career. Sounds like you miss it. It's better to be in charge. Well, some people uh, prefer to be, like, on the ground uh, where the action is. I do, sometimes. There are days I'd give anything to be out in the open air, planting explosives and laying down covering fire. <laughs> But here I am, stuck in the same stale office day after day, while other people get to do the actual fighting. But enough reminiscing. Do you have other questions? Maybe? Um, yeah, tell me more about Hoover Dam. It's a position of some strategic importance to the NCR, providing power and water as it does. It's moderately defensible, with a single point of entry on the east side. To get to the power plants below, the enemy has to cross the entire top. The legions tried to cross the water on a few occasions, but slow-moving boats make easy targets for sharpshooters. Makes sense. Um, yeah, tell me more about the legion. They're organized, I'll give them that. The few times I've encountered them firsthand, I've been impressed with their discipline. I've heard they don't allow women in their military, considering them nothing more than breeding stock. It's true. Their men, however, are typically quite large, in phenomenal condition, and prefer close-quarter weapons. Recent engagements have taught us to fear their shock attacks, so it's a blessing that we seem to have superior firearms. Yeah, um, because they for some reason prefer not to use them. What impressed you about their discipline? You mentioned that they were in good shape. What kind of weapons do they use? Uh, sure, let's ask it all. I mean, I do know most of it, but anyway. I've never once seen a single one of them back down or disobey an order. They'll happily charge a fortified position with little more than a sharpened stick, if ordered to, and do so without hesitation. And you mentioned that they were in good shape. Yes, extremely so. They must use conditioning routines on par with the Rangers or better. Their soldiers can run near half again as fast as my best men, and close distances with frightening speed. <laughs> and they're as strong as they are fast. Their superior physicality makes them extremely dangerous up close, so I've had the men run drills for taking on larger, stronger opponents. But they've all been instructed to take them down at range if possible. I've made it clear I don't want any heroes in my squad, just survivors. I agree. That is the right strategy. It's basically uh, what I was trying to do when I uh, went to Caesar's camp to kill Caesar. You know, not engage them in close combat inside the tent, but draw them out so I could attack them with my weapon. Um, so, you got the right idea here. And yeah, what kind of weapons do they use? Their standard kit seems to be a blade of some sort and light armor. Guns are not uncommon, but are of questionable condition. While they prefer to use their blades, it's common for them to scavenge better weapons from their enemies and use those. The men have been told to toss their weapons over the side of the dam if they receive a fatal wound, <laughs> but I doubt many will remember. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you receive a fatal wound, you probably um, have your mind on other issues. Um, can we talk about something else? I can only spare a few more moments. What did you wish to speak about? Um, well, are you in charge of the NCR around here? Well, I guess uh, at least the military... I command the garrison here at the dam, yes, but Colonel Shu over at McCarran is technically in charge of the area's I forces. See. Okay, well, it looks like this is all I can ask, so he should be going. Good. I've got more work than time to do it. In that case, I won't be Those keeping you any longer. Ahead. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. All right, Those well, um, troops are bad blood. apparently all the assignments um, that the NCR had for me were things that I already did, like dealing with the Omertas, dealing with the Great Khans, so... Yeah, um, not much to do for them other than, you know, dealing with Mr. House. But we have some time left in this episode, so let's uh, look around this place a little bit. I mean, look at this place. This is, this is, this is quite amazing. I am pretty sure Harris, um 
all giddy about this place it too. The territories are about to blow up. So many machines and technology and capable people who know how to run it. I think she really likes this place. This is her kind of place. I mean, look at that. So many competent, skilled people. <laughs> and I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just going through doors and see if I can find anyone to talk to who, with our great army. who isn't like just a normal engineer. But this place is so huge. I'm not sure where to go first. Okay, these are the offices again, but I think I'm on a different level now. Okay, this guy has a name. Quartermaster Baden. So you're the one that's been running errands for Colonel Moore. Do you need something? Um, oh, apparently I can uh, buy stuff from him. But first, tell me about yourself. I guess I can spare a minute or two for you. Things are a little slow at the moment anyway. <laughs> okay. Me? I've been in the military my entire life. It's a family sort of thing. My father served, my brothers serve, and I serve. I've had the honor of serving all over the NCR, and now I get to be out on the front lines as the NCR comes out east to help these folks here. Once we get rid of the Legion, this will be a better place for everyone. I'm proud to be part of that. I see. Um, yeah, can I ask more questions about the NCR? I guess I can trust you. <laughs> what would you like to know? Of course you can trust me. Haven't you seen all the amounts of NCR fame that I have? How do you feel about the NCR being out here? Well, I mean, he kind of told me already, but whatever. Let's ask it again. The NCR is out here to make the world a better place. For those out here and for all those back home. I'm glad I can be a part of that. Well, he does sound like he truly believes it. So what are your thoughts about the Legion? There are a bunch of evil savages, if you ask me. We're out here trying to save these good people from being enslaved by those bastards. I hope we kill them all. <laughs> we'll see about that. And what do you know about the dam? Well, the dam here is the key to helping the NCR make the world a better place. With the power from the dam, we can help the people here and back home have a better quality of life. We can't trust the Legion or Mr. House to do the same. The NCR is the only one looking out for the people, and we need the dam to do that. And I pity the people that try to take it from us. Well, we should definitely um, make sure that the Legion isn't going to take the dam. Because, like I said, I don't even know if they would be able to run this place and maintain it. Unless they, you know, abduct NCR uh, engineers and force them to do it. Um, well, do I have other questions? Make it quick. Um... I have some questions about the NCR, maybe. Sure. What would you like to know? Nope, that's just the same again. Make it quick. In that case, just show me your supplies. Unfortunately for you, I'm not authorized to trade with you. It's against regulations. Not even to a friend of the NCR? I mean, come on. I've done so much for you. Well, that is great and all, but it's really against <laughs> regulations. Speech 50. I completely understand, but I'm working for the good of the NCR too. I would like to believe so. I would even say I've done more for the NCR than many of your soldiers. I guess I can make an exception, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> Apparently it's not the regulation anymore. I'm not sure if I even need anything, but I guess I'll have a look at it. Spiked knuckles, Tesla cannon, zap glove. Combat armor. Metal armor reinforced. Radar Psycho Tick Helmet. Have I ever seen something like that before? I'll buy it just because it uh, sounds interesting. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of the rest, so. <laughs> Give me I'm just a shot if you need anything else. Buying your weird. Curiosity helmet. Bye. Let's have a look at that helmet. <laughs> um. Well, I think I have seen this before on on some of the raiders, but 
<laughs> it's still a really weird helmet. All right. Thanks for the trade anyway. I can't take any of this stuff. It's all off limits. And only this is where the people Our are Rangers sleeping. Are show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. And more bunk beds, and that's the end of this. Okay. Um, Smart yeah, move I don't know. Let's back go down. back to where we just with. came from. Oh boy. Um, I'm getting lost in here again. Hey. Nelson's this back is just a normal hands. engineer How again. But this is a place time. where we talked to Colonel Moore, so I'm on the upper level again. Um, okay. In that case, I think I know how to get out of here. I think. Ooh, look at this place. This must be some kind of control room. Is there anyone around here I can talk to? Nope. Well, that's a pity. Can't use any of these computers either. Not even the terminals. Hello. All right. Um, exit. Okay. Um, have I fully explored this place? Let's have a quick look at the map. Hoover Dam Tower. Hoover Dam Power Plant One. Okay. Where does this lead? Ooh. I guess it's, this is where they have like presentations. Neat. Hey. But yeah, let's let's try to get to the exit, I suppose. Uh, this is just a small empty room. Um, okay. Is this the exit? Oh, but I need a key for, for this door. Oh, this is the way to the exit. Door to Hoover Dam Tower, but again, this one needs a key. Okay, now I'm just going in circles. I guess the exit would be via the tower, but I can't actually uh, use that door. Okay, um, in that case I have to find my way back into the plan where I originally came from, right? Oh dear. Rec room. Okay, I, I remember that um, it was Our near the rec room. Okay, I remember coming through here. This is the rec room. Power plant floor one. I think this should be it. Yep, here we are. Um, but I would like to try to go all the way down to the bottom of this place. We do have some stairs over here. Okay, now I'm on this level again, but I would like to go even further down if I can. Um, well, I mean, maybe I can just jump down there, but I want to make sure there's actually a way up before I jump down. Okay, no, this is going up. I don't, I don't want to go up. In the Museum of Technology. Experience life in an authentic vault tech. <laughs> I don't want to experience that, to be honest. See the actual Virgo 2 lunar lander. Marvel at the majestic cosmos in our planetarium. Uh, if only. <laughs> oh, I can't go through here because I need a key. And this is just the same poster again. Oh, can I go on top of this? Well, this might be interesting too. Let's do it. Well, I mean, 
Doesn't really do anything. Lily! Lily! Stop! Stop being in my way. Thank you. Hoover Dam water testing site. Warning Hoover Dam power plant testing. Okay. Again, this is going up. I don't I don't want to go up. Things are getting stranger every day. <laughs> well, maybe I'm actually going to try to jump down and see if that does anything. What about the door over here? Power plant floor 2. <laughs> okay, I can open this door. Oh boy, this is another large area. Well, <laughs> I'm just going to jump down here now. I'm sure there's going to be a way up somewhere. Power plant floor one. Okay, now I can go on to this area. <laughs> this place is so huge. Um, okay. Well, guess we can explore this area a little bit. Power plant floor three. Oh, I guess there's another one of these, huh? So what's going on in these little side rooms? Going further down, lower level. Ooh, do you hear that? Huh. Interesting. Ooh, look at that. I guess this is one of the turbines being moved by the water. Like I said, this is all very impressive. And I wonder if this is like a faithful replica of the real Hoover Dam. Power plant floor one. Ooh! Here's the water! <laughs> what happens if I, if I try to go into the water? Oh, well! <laughs> I'm getting thrown over. Okay, but apparently that's all that's happening to you. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel I could spend like another full episode just running around this place and checking out all the doors. So, where is this going to lead me? Okay, now we are back in this place. Now this seems to be the only one that has people in it. So maybe I will look around a bit and see if any one of them... Well, there's one that has a name. Hello there, youngster. Welcome to my baby. <laughs> so, the dam is your baby? The power station. The dam. They're my babies. Well, don't tell my grandchildren I said <laughs> that. <laughs> Anything in here that I haven't rebuilt, I fixed. I've been here since well before the first battle. I've ground my knuckles on so much cement in here, it is nearly as much me as it is cement. Alright, I can I can understand that. Uh, yeah, tell me about the last battle. I was down there for most of it, so I can't tell you much of what the boys with the guns were doing up top. From talking to the boys that were fighting up there, I can tell you that Hanlon managed to pull off what most people would have thought impossible. Okay, um... You can go into more detail than that, but apparently that's all he has to say about this. So, what exactly do you do here? I'm the head engineer. I make sure the turbines keep spinning and the water keeps pumping. And um, how is the dam running these days? Been better, been worse. When I first came here, there was but one turbine spinning. At one point shortly after the last battle, I had six of them spinning. It was a wonderful sound. <laughs> Only four of them are running right now. I think Hera can completely uh, sympathize with that uh, pride about, you know, his accomplishments. So what exactly is wrong with the turbines? A little bit ago, one of the intake towers got clogged. No water running through it anymore to spin the generators. One of these days, I'll get some boys out to the turbine to get it running again. But right now, it is pretty low on the priority list. 
Okay, I understand. Well, do you happen to have like a job opening for me? I'm pretty good with repairing stuff and science stuff and so on. But okay, apparently that's all we can talk about. Later. Okay, well, um, that was a nice little chat. Um, now this terminal looks like it's um, working, but you can't interact with it. And yeah, all the stuff in here is um, off limits. Can't can't take any of it. Not that I would need to. I doubt that any of this is that useful. Okay, well, um, I feel there's more to explore in this place. However, the episode is getting long enough. So I think I'm going to make a cut here. And um, I will return to the Lucky 38 off camera. Also, why is my uh, glasses missing? I think because I wore that weird helmet, right? Let's put on the glasses again. So I will return to the Lucky 38 and make some preparations for the DLC, of course. Um, I'm not sure if that's really useful because in my last DLC they just took away all my stuff, so um, any kind of preparation would have been useless anyway. But I will like send away my companions um, because so far I was never able to take my companions uh, with me in a DLC. And then we Things will start... Um, what was uh, the name of that DLC? I think it's uh, Lonesome Road, right? I mean, it doesn't actually tell me in, in, in the quest, but it's this one. Travel to the canyon wreckage near Prim and enter the Divide. We've heard about that. Apparently it's about the other courier. So yeah, I hope you're looking forward to that because we're going to start it in the next episode. But for now, let's call it a day as usual. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.